Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Renaissance Sim Challenge. Isabel is still at work, but it seems like everybody, including Quinn, finally, they're all sleeping. So we can just fast forward this and Isabel will be home any minute. Oh, she needs a drink. Quinn, are you ready? Are you ready to actually be drunk from pretty soon? Oh, is he waking up or who's waking up? Mm, he didn't wake up. Quinn, go back to bed. You were asleep for like five seconds. Okay, maybe like a few hours, but still, that's not enough. That's not enough for a butt. Heck. What even is this? I kind of like it, honestly. All right, so Isabel brought home 315 simoleons. She did not get close to a promotion, so it seems like it's going to take a little bit of time. She did great work, too, today, so, you know, it's, it's good. And she earned a vacation day, so now we have four vacation days in this job. I realize that we didn't use our vacation days from our last job, so those were kind of wasted, unfortunately. You know, we can't really go back and do anything about that, but... We're going to try to use maybe the vacation days we get from this and also Mariko's vacation days because, of course, we want to make sure that, you know, we're not wasting anything that we've earned, right? Because we have earned those days. So let's go ahead and drink from Quinn. Poor guy. <laughs> He's our personal food bag now, and it seems like we need to have a little bit of fun. So let's pick something that Isabel has yet to actually complete because we could play games, but she's already done with the video gaming skill. You understand? So we can go bowling. We can sing, but I don't know if... I mean, that might be fun if she does karaoke, but I think I want to do bowling because we really haven't done too much bowling, and she's only at... You know, she's like halfway through, I guess, which is not that great. It seems to take a while, too. Right now, she's actually pretty focused. Ah! It's because of the focusing decor. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so Muddy goes to sleep for a little while. I think she finished all of her work stuff. Mm, she tried. She tried. All right, so let's go ahead and take Isabel out and about. And, you know, we can check it. Wait, can we check it anymore? <gasps> I don't think we can. Oh, no. I was like, yeah, let's just go and check in. We'll be super hot on social media. Since we don't have the job, we probably can't do it anymore. All right, let's take a look if we can or not. And if we can't, then that's a little bit sad. I would love to have that, like, at all times. Because that's just, you know, it's a regular thing. You're just using, like, your Simstagram or your Simmer. Wait, what would it be called, Simmer? Swim? Switter? Switter? S Sim Simter? Simter. Simter. There we go. Or a sim book. Something like that. So, you know, why can't we? Why not? I don't see I don't see any reason why we couldn't do that. Or if we can, then yay. And can we check in at all? No. Aw. Aw. Ooh. Hello. We can negotiate a bonus. Why is she still wearing that outfit though? Because she she is a mixologist now, so wearing that outfit seems a little bit weird for a mixologist. Maybe she's Well, I can't actually oh. Oh, oh, that didn't go well at all. That really didn't go well at all. I'm sorry, Isabel, you tried. All right, so let's go in here. We're going to go and enable Moonlight Bowling. Uh-huh. And, oh, right, we have potions available to us. So let's have her go over here and also buy ourselves a nice little focus potion because that's going to help out a lot. Let's do it up because, I mean, the other thing is we can, you know, invite the club over, but... It seems to take long. Oh, she's she's not feeling good right now because she just needs all that fun. Why is she playful? Playful does not help at all, okay? It just does not seem to help. I think focus was definitely the one that helped. Or maybe if it was playful, my bad. Where are you going to drink that? At the bar. At the bar. Devin, hey, what's going on here? Uh, At the bar, sure. You know what? Just drink it up. Hurry up. And there we go. So we can now go ahead and bowl. Let's see how this goes, if it actually works. So I still think it's, it's focus that you... Did you buy something? Did you buy something? <laughs> oh, why are you just like your dad and your grandpa? Always buying things. Seriously, you need to stop buying drinks. That's just not good for your money. I know we have tons of money right now. But seriously, it's just not good for your money at all. So just keep it to yourself. Stop trying to buy drinks. Did you just buy somebody else a drink? <gasps> Rude! How could you? There's Oh, I guess maybe, you know, the bear? Maybe she likes the bear. Maybe she thinks the bear's gonna be nice and cuddly and soft. And excuse me, who are you? We don't even like you. What are you doing? Excuse me. Ugh. <gasps> It's the tragic club. He's a part of a bowling, a bowling club. What? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that this guy was part of a bowling club. But if he is, then that's actually pretty cool. I like his pants too. <laughs> his really nice pants. He's well. Maybe he should be wearing better clothes, huh? Cause uh, right now, oh, she's no longer focused. All right. So it seems like maybe we could. Show well, how are we gonna get more focused than just that though? Also, we could go back and do the mixology skill, which would be nice, but. Mm. Alright, you know what? We have more than enough money, so let's just buy, like, two of these, and maybe we can try to drink as many of them at once as possible. I don't think it'll add much, though. Ooh, 
Ooh, she's getting the morning sim boost too. It is six in the morning. Can you stop for a second? Like, I know you're still playing, but just... Um, yeah, we need a focus boost definitely that actually helps her because um, this is not doing the job right there Oh, oh snobbly surround. Okay. Now. She's very focused for how long is that? Ah It's only for three hours. That's not good. Does this expire? No, it's not. All right So only three hour boost then that means we should probably add some nice stuff here Let's see you are going to go off to work. I know you know I would like to actually do her work for her, but she's not the main character here. Sorry, Mariko. You are not the main character. Isabel, how's it going? Oh, you finished? What? How are you going to waste your focus right now? Two hours left. Oh, did that? I was like, did that get dirty? No, that's actually Isabel. She's super dirty, apparently. Her dust is dirty. Come over here and actually bowl. Like, seriously, you need to get that skill up because we are almost there. Uh-huh. Look at that. We are almost at level four. Oh, how did you fail that? How did you fail that when you're like so, excuse me, you're supposed to be so good at bowling? <gasps> Grimmy, hey, what's going on? Oh, reached bowling level four. So Isabel can now select the, the marbled blue ball. Ooh, although I kind of like the black ball. Wait, we do have the black ball, right? She's really finding her balance and will fall less often when throwing the ball. Isabel can, will start to throw more strikes as well. Yes. Can she pick up her first turkey? I don't know because she <laughs> definitely has not already picked one up. So, hmm. I guess we're going to have to watch if she does or if she doesn't. If she does, that's going to be a pretty momentous occasion, but it seems like that's not going to happen anytime soon because she's already failing a lot. And we're going to have to actually tell her to stop bowling. Oh, I guess we could let her finish one game before we get her focus again. Because, I mean, that's not... Grim. Hey, Grim, you uh, you you peed again, didn't you? You Do you realize that there are toilets, right? You, you do realize that, yeah? Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. I wonder what that actually is. Because, of course, it's not going to be like... A, Grim P. It's just gonna be. Oh, what do I want to call it? I don't even know what to call it. It's just Grim. Grim oil? <laughs> He's super oily. There we go. That explains everything now. Although it really doesn't. <gasps> oh, you had just one there. Okay, well, she she almost did pretty well with that one. And nope, that's not good. Mm. Keep trying, girl. You're gonna get it eventually. Oh, she's actually super sweaty right now. Well, I guess we'll hold on to this potion. Because we don't want to spend her on right now. We're just going to leave her right now because she needs a shower. And, you know, she's had her fun. More than enough fun. And look at all the clubs actually showing up here to bowl. Oh, wait. They're actually part of one club, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. All right. So let's head out. We're gonna, oh, we could just... Uh, no, we can't do that. We just have to travel. Play hooky. Oh, that might be nice. But I'm pretty sure we don't have to. Let's see. Travel. Uh -huh. Let's go. Let's just go back home. And when does she work? Oh, she doesn't even work for like two days. Well, we have more than enough time to actually, you know, oh, oh, she finished the game. Yes. I don't know if 207 is, is good. I haven't bowled in so, so long. So you guys let me know in the comments if 207 is good because does she do a good job or does she do a very poor job and does she have to keep bowling? I don't know. I guess, you know, we'll continue on bowling so we can get to level five. And then if she's good enough, we might, you know, try to do some challenges, like maybe make a challenge for cousins bowling and see how that goes although you know it's probably gonna be unfair because they're not that great at bowling are they no not at all all right so let's go ahead and take ourselves a nice and she has to do inspirational stuff so a thoughtful shower naturally and where's quinn quinn hey i mean we drank from you recently so i guess you know we're not going to be doing any of that but we're not exactly too thirsty so i guess that's fine you're gonna be okay okay trust me dude we're not gonna did you just put <sighs> I was wondering where the cube was. I don't see the cube for some reason. I don't know what she did with it. <laughs> That's not a cube. Isabel, where'd you put the cube? I know I, I found the guitar. I did not find the cube. She lost the cube. Ah, aha. Here it is. Come over here and ask for creative ideas from it. Because, you know, we want to get super inspired if we can without using a potion. Although I will use a potion just to, you know, get ourselves started. Ooh. <gasps> Aha, there we go. So that's going to last a little bit longer than the potion. For sure, for sure. At least this one will. Hmm. Let's just do this up. So let's go ahead and practice making drinks. I know you want to talk with Quinn, you know, because you guys were, you guys were a thing at once. You guys were a thing at some point, you know, in your past. But that's not. Oh, excuse me, <gasps> Lilith. How dare you? We are married people. We are no longer about that life. I know we were about that life when we were with you. But that's just because it was you. <laughs> that is terrible to say, but that's just because it was her. Okay. All right. So it looks like you know it's gonna take a little while for us to get this level. But we are going to finish this for sure, for sure. Which means that once we are done, we'll be able to make any potion that, you know, sends our emotions in one way or another. We could choose our emotions, basically. Which, we, I mean, we could already do because we have a trillion gazillion satisfaction points. So it's not, you know, that big of a... Are you making a drink? 
Oh, for a second I thought she was like making a specific drink. I was mm -mm. not right now, girl. Now is not the time for that. And Mariko is home, so let's see what we can actually do for Mariko because she does have to. Ooh, she's actually dressed quite nicely. Look at that. Look at that outfit. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so. Let's just do this up. Let's see. So she has to have 500 followers and reach level three writing. Of course, we're going to help her with that because it seems like it takes a little while to do that. So we're going to have to network with journalists, which it's hard because things can go very, very wrong very, very quickly. And it's not so good for us to, you know, continue trying if it's not going to work. But I think it should work. And also she needs to pee a little bit. So we have to be care very careful what we do with her. And also she has to do some writing. But this counts as writing, right? Ooh, look at that. She almost has 500 followers. So maybe if we do up some more of these things, let's see, update social media status and maybe share a nice image. Oh, yeah, she definitely has to pee now. There we go. So she has enough followers and you never imagine. Oh, you never imagine you'd ma manage to make friends with the journals. <gasps> she did it. She did it. You yeah, She did it. So right now, all that she has to do is basically, you know, practice writing. So let's go ahead and write jokes. No, that doesn't count. Or maybe it does. Hmm. I think that's comedy skill, though. Let's just go ahead and practice writing. There we go. So, Isabel, how's that going for you? Uh, you're getting up there. You're definitely getting up there. And poor Quinn. He's, like, super uncomfortable. <laughs> is it because he was bitten by a vampire? Huh. Where is this kid? Oh, there he is. What's going on with this? Like, it's lagging super weirdly today. The game is usually not like this, so I don't know why this is happening. But anyway, seems like Isabel's inspiration is about to wear off, which is not so good. E oh, Mariko reached writing level two, so now she can write her own books. But I don't think we're going to go there with her at all because you know she's not a vampire and eventually she's going to just pass away as sad as it is she's going to eventually pass away we're not going to keep her alive because that just i mean unless you guys want me to keep her alive you know then i will but she might not live too long too much longer let's go ahead and drink this drink and what do you want to do give butler an order from being a snob all right we can do that we can give him an order let's order a quinn so let's go to butler here we're gonna assign task responsibilities manage. Mm, stop it. No, that doesn't count, does it? That also doesn't count. Ah, aha. So we can tell him to cook. We can tell him to play the piano. We can tell him to perform a comedy routine. So we can just go ahead and do that for the empty room because, you know, she just. Oh, what? What? It went away. No. <laughs> no. That, oh, come on. Well, you know, oh, you, oh, you wanna paint. You can paint later. <laughs> you can definitely paint later. Come over here, do this. You can finish that. What the heck is that? It almost looks like a zebra print. It seems like she would eventually actually color that in. So that's not, you know, too bad. How are you doing? You are very, very slow. Yeah, the focus is not helping Mighty Go whatsoever because she has to be inspired. Focus is not good for the writing, but she's going to get there eventually. And so will Isabel, even though... <gasps> yes! <laughs> There we go. Isabel has achieved her dream of becoming a revered mixologist. She still has a trick or two up her sleeve and in her flask. So bottoms up. Tray earned potion master and new drinks recipe um recipe excuse me unlocked. So let's have her just uh continue this painting. Oh, it's a pop art painting. So we can actually check to see which kinds of drinks she can actually make. So let's see, make drink. What can we make? What's uh brand new and shiny? A granny smash? Oh wow! Whoa! Whoa, okay. These are super expensive. But I have an idea. How is about maybe a store in which we can actually make these and sell them, right? Or we can, you know, you just grab them from our, our points over there and sell them. That, to me, would be kind of cool. Oh, a Simsimapolitan, too. Oh, that's not that expensive. This, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, all these are just thousands of millions. What? That's crazy. That's definitely crazy. But then, then again, we have like this, uh, where is it? The vampire drink. That's super expensive, too right here that's crazier that's actually too crazy as well but you know what we made tons of those and they're you know cures for vampires so i guess that makes sense i guess it makes sense that they're as expensive as they are anyway we finished this so let's go ahead and select something else we did we finished that one what do we need for this one join the criminal career yeah we're not going there just yet and for this one we need to have a nicer apartment oh we actually have to master the singing skill for this one as well so we could Ooh, oh my gosh look at this painting that is beautiful. That is... Oh, and on top of that, it's a freaking masterpiece. Are you kidding me? She's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she uh, she learned how to craft that granny thing. Oh my gosh, it's $3,000. This is like the nicest painting I've ever seen her do. And it's also super expensive. Let's just... 
I would love to keep it, but I just, I don't see it actually fitting here. <laughs> Honestly, this is uh, probably more an abstract thing that she would like to keep here, right? So let's just, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I know you're a really nice painting. We're probably never going to see you again, but please. Okay, let's go ahead and practice. Um, we could practice singing or we could go to karaoke lounge. I think Marika's sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping. So that means it's time for us to party. Let's go ahead and party it up with our club. Ooh, can we? Let's see. Let's go ahead and edit our club a little bit. And we're going to add a club hangout. We're going to hang out at... It's in San Myshuno, the Rainbow Norebang. Because you know, it has more than enough rooms for us to do our singing and whatnot. So let's go ahead and just confirm this and start gathering. Which means let's go and gather at the Rainbow Norebang. I'm no longer surprised that Grim is always here, or, you know, usually here, because <laughs> he loves to sing. And I, I guess he sounds okay? Yeah, I think he sounds okay. All right, so where are our kids? Our kids are out here. Oh, I guess it has been maybe some time since they all gathered together. Oh, and is that Aaron again? Okay, I thought that was Aaron for a second. I was like, mm, boy, you are always sleeping there. Wait, did... He is sleeping! <laughs> oh, Aaron, what are we gonna do with you, kid? What are we gonna do with you? You are straight up always asleep. Like, you need to get your act together. Junki, I don't know what's wrong with you. You are a vampire. You should be awake right now. Aaron's just a really bad vampire, but I didn't realize Junki was also a bad vampire. Anyway, there are our cousins are actually tipping us right now because we're playing guitar, but let's go ahead and maybe, you know, duet a little bit with our favorite cousin. Let's do a pop one, because, you know, it's going to be a little bit fun, right? Our favorite cousin is Lily. Wait, do they all have they all have vampire face on right now? Maybe not all of them, but he does, and I think Lily does as well. Are you kidding me? Hedjun, is your... You also have vampire face. What happened over there, huh? What happened? Ooh. Ooh, it's a little bit scary, isn't it? Look at, look at his face. Oh, he's, uh... Is he showing off his powers? He's trying. I think he's trying to show off his powers, and it's not working. Anyway, Lily and Isabel's... Oh. I thought it was supposed to be... Is this pop or am I listening to a different song? There's a lot of stuff going on in here, man. Yeah, I think that's their song. It sounds more country than pop, but maybe that's just me. I mean, I don't know. Oh my god, Lily's bad. Lily's like really, really bad. I'm, I am so sorry, Isabel, that you have to listen to this person sing and she can't really do very well with it. Oh, let's just back up on here because oh boy let's uh maybe we should have go, gone singing somewhere else because this is super loud and super bad oh you know what we probably do have access to this right mm. oh look at this lighting <laughs> i actually forgot i decorated it like this let's uh sing some solos then because right now oh lily you're you're just super bad weekender yeah as usual all right so let's go ahead and just finish this up. Finish that up, cause that's just. Oh, she's feeling confident right now. She's like karaoke legend. Yeah, I am the best. Well, Isabel, you know what? I don't really want you to be the best. I just want you to sing well enough so you can reach level ten, cause we are almost there. But it would help if you had some inspired mood like going on. So let's see. What can we do about that? We don't have a potion on us. We could get another one, but she's so confident right now that I have my doubts that it'll work. But maybe, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it, and if it works, then good. If not, then now we know better, right? And there's a lot of blue ones. Like, I just re I, I tried to buy a confident one first time. And then I realized that's actually the confident potion, not the inspired potion. All right, so let's just let her sing one song, and then we're going to go ahead and drink this. And we're going to have her, you know, try to sing another solo song. Maybe the same one, because I just I love Weekender so much. All right, let's see. Does this actually get you inspired, or are you still going to be super... Oh! <gasps> yes! Okay, the potions... Or so good, they add plus 100, don't Yes, they do. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we can keep taking those potions. Like, maybe she's gonna become addicted to them? I don't know. Also, we should probably start going around and getting rid of these, because it's a bad, bad thing to keep the ghosts here. Can you maybe just, uh... Oh, you can't practice singing. All right, let's queue up a few of these songs just for you to sing right now. And then hopefully you'll reach level 10, because it looks like you're almost there. So you should get there, and you're also a little bit thirsty. Oh, you need to do some dark meditation, that's for sure. So after you're done with your songs, oh man, she sounds so good. Ah, she's so good, and the song is so good, and I'm just like, ah, it's just such a good feeling. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go, Isabel, go, Isabel. No, I'm kidding. 
Alright, so let's try to find our victim, which I actually just think we found. It might be Jayla Watson out over here. Isn't that right, Jayla Watson? We're going to drink from you, and you're going to like it just because we hate you, okay? <laughs> Although it makes no sense. Yeah, that is Jayla Watson. Okay, just... Who's over here? She sounds like super bored. <gasps> Wait, why do we hate all the vendors? What happened? <laughs> what happened that we grew to hate all the vendors? That sounds a little bit weird, but I don't think we're going to be done with the skill by the time, you know... There's, there are, you know, done with their work, right? Mm, it's taking a little bit of time, isn't it? Maybe it's going to take a little bit of time. Alright, so we'll see if the vendors are going to be around by the time Isabel actually reaches level 10, which is... Oh, never mind, it's going to be sooner than later, because it seems like she's about to hit it up. Never mind, I was like, hmm, Isabel's taking way too long with this. No, she's not. There we go. So she should be hitting level 10 any second now, which means she'll have mastered the singing skill. There we go. Isabel has reached supreme singing status. Karaoke records will fall before her awesome voice. And she's getting a call from Cassie Gentile. Uh, no, I don't really want to go to the chalet. The chalet is not, you know, our place to be. Let's go ahead and just, you know, do the jerk meditation. Go and drink from somebody out there. And just, oh, 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 so bad. So, 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 so bad. Ooh, wrong person. <laughs> We're going to have to end this gathering and hopefully they'll all disperse. Otherwise, we are going to leave right now. Because they're going to be set on fire soon. Oh, we have to leave. God dang it. I keep forgetting that they, you know, they don't have all the powers that we have. It's just... Isabel has been such a strong vampire for so long that I've not had to worry about that. Let's just see them all burst up in the flames right now. Because that's, you know, that's what starts to happen. Or they're going to leave. Or they're going to... I think they're all leaving. Or, you know, except for these two. I don't know what you two boys are doing. Okay. Oh, yeah, they actually started going on fire. Well, oh, Junkie actually left. Hmm. We could have stayed here. We could still stay here. But, you know, we can also find people at our home. So why not? Maybe Quinn is ready for another round? <laughs> it feels like it's been like over a day now that we've drunk from him, so why not? Well, let's just go for it and see if Quinn is up to being another food bag, or, you know, a food bag once again, I should say. Because that's just his destiny. Or maybe the maid's gonna be there and we're gonna be able to spare Quinn? Nope, it's too early, Quinn. It's way, way, way too early. Let's see. Where is Quinn? Quinn, Mr. Quinn, are you asleep? You are not asleep. Are you actually here? Did he leave? He was like, I am being treated so poorly, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't think that's the case. I must be missing him, right? Or maybe he's just going to show up. Mr. Quinn! Oh, that's not Quinn. That is really not Quinn. That's that other lady. What happened with Quinn? Maki, we don't even like you. What happened with Quinn? Anybody care to tell me what? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so let's go ahead and compel her for a deep drink. I guess, you know, Quinn just had enough. He was like, mm-mm. Can't take this anymore. I am quitting. I am leaving. You guys are going to come back and, you know, I'm not going to be here. Just deal with it. Well, we're going to drink from this lady and she's going to hate us and she's going to leave. Oh, man. So the butlers are basically choosing us instead of the other way around, which is usually not how it works, but we're apparently the worst people to actually tend to. Let's also go ahead and purchase this. This is what I wanted to get. Yeah, let's buy Network Club and, ooh, we can afford some nice jackets. Well... Let's get the leather jacket. Why not? Why not? Let's do it up. And we can also... Ooh, we can get the other one. If we want to. I mean, I don't know which jackets we're ever going to wear. I honestly don't know if we're ever even going to wear any of these jackets, but we might. Right? Anyway, Mariko, what are you up to? You need to go to work. Never mind. I was like, mm, what are you up to right now? You have yet to reach that writing skill. Mm. Well, <laughs> no promotion for you. I mean, not that you're getting there today, but whatever. Isabel, are you done yet? You are like drinking so hardcore from her. You're just like, oh my god, I'm so thirsty right now. Let me just drink you all up. Like, okay, okay, just take it easy. Take it easy. Uh huh. All right, so what we have to do now for this aspiration, the last thing is decorate our apartment with another $25,000 worth of stuff. I said before, I didn't want to add violins and I'm going to stick to that. So we're just going to go ahead and select a different aspiration. We finished that one. We do have this one where we have to write some bestsellers. It's possible we could do that. We also have to write some songs. I missed one because, you know, I just totally forgot that we have to do that. This one seems... Like, this part here seems easy, but this part is the hard one right up in here. So we could write some more songs, but songs take forever. I want to do things that, you know, are a little bit more... <gasps> That's right. We have to be good friends with five of our offspring. We're only good friends with three of them. So trying to find our offspring. Let's see how we can do this. I, I think the easiest way to do it is honestly, you know... Man, we drank from her... I was it's going to be, you know, drink from her and then sending her off on her way. But uh, it's not going to be so good. So let me, let's try to invite you over since we need just, ooh, Caleb. He became an old man. All right, we're going to invite you over and, oh, you're our boyfriend still. 
He's a detective, though. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin his life by you know turning him to a vampire because he seems to enjoy being a detective. So I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna turn the Trevettis. There we go. That's what we're gonna do this time around. So let's see if we can you know get them both over here. Maybe they're gonna be working. Oh, Cassidy, are you a vampire? Something tells me that Cassidy Gentile Gentile is a vampire. All right, so Vihan is coming over. Cassidy, go away. <laughs> go away. If you're a vampire, maybe oh, he's already here. Uh, and Sima's gonna come over. Alright, so let's go ahead and just go... Can we maybe ask him? Is there the opportunity to be able to ask him if he wants to become a vampire? Because sometimes there is, other times there's not. I don't know what it, it, it takes to actually get that there. Aha! Offer to turn. Usually, I've never had anybody turn us down. So, he might say yes. If he says no, it's gonna be like a first. We're gonna, we're not even inviting him in. We're just like, you know, do you want to become a vampire? If you say yes, you know, you're gonna get eternal life right now. So it's your choice. And Seema, I don't know if she's your wife or what she is, but sure, she's also gonna get eternal life. If she says, oh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? That's, uh, not the way that we wanted to go about this. Can we try that again? Or was that just a one-time thing? Get to know, flatter, don't really want- Ha! Off her turn. So let's try that again. Oh, he was trying to go inside! Is Seema actually coming over, or did she just decide to not turn up because she figured out what we were trying to do? Hmm. I don't quite know, but Seema better come Aha, there we go. So it's working now. Seema, maybe she's outside. Let's take a look out here to see- Oh, geez. wow! This is a super tall building. I didn't realize just how tall- <laughs> Wow, okay, sure. Um, oh, hi! Hi, why aren't you coming upstairs? Come upstairs, okay? It's gonna be good for you, I promise. <laughs> Well, I mean, it depends on, you know, how you consider eternal life. It might be good, but it might be bad because obviously, you know, you have to hurt people just so you can live. Let's offer to turn her as well because now we know the Trevettis are our children so then we can befriend them. Or we can just befriend them now and then when he turns to vampires, that'll be maybe instant. Hmm. That's a possibility too. All right, so uh, I don't think we're going to... Ooh. That's becoming less. Yeah, we have to start writing some more books because this is not so good right now. And, oh, the maid came over and decided... Oh, there we go. The maid came over and decided that we weren't worth it. Alright, so you want to play a song? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe next time we'll drink from you. Alright, so we have to become good friends with you. So let's just talk about cooking. I hope your uh, cousin, husband, brother, whatever the heck he is, is uh, staying upstairs. Because I would like to also have a conversation with him. You know, we have to get close with both of them. That way, we'll be able to complete this thing in no time. And what are we going to get from that? Uh, she now has the power to command her... Oh, with greater efficiency. So she can command her children to do her bidding? Although I don't really know what her bidding is, but, you know, maybe we can have, like, zombies over here. Although it doesn't make sense because they're vampires doing impression. Stop trying to play guitar. Just talk with her. Have a nice chat. It seems like, you know, it's taking forever to actually kiss up to her. So just keep doing it. You can do this. I know, Isabel. Trust me. You're good at talking. You did the social media career super well, okay? You did it well, you did it semi-quickly, you can do this. I believe in you. Do not practice fighting, that seems weird. <laughs> that seems weird with someone who's not yet a vampire, okay? Let's uh, brighten her day a little bit, because usually those help better than, you know, just, just regular things without the without the charisma thing. Now, let's see, are we just still acquaintances? God dang it. It takes forever to become good friends, honestly. Oh, boring conversation too. Yeah, I understand that. So the Dravetis kind of sort of left us while we were trying to have a conversation. Well, you know, Seema did, because the other one left earlier. So we are having a party. So now we have to, you know, try to cook some three gourmet dishes in a single event. So we can do that up right now, just as long as the butler moves out of the way. Move, butler. Get out the way. Get out the way, butler. Oh, we could cook some maybe cheaper things, because wow, is that expensive. Yeah, let's go with something maybe party size because that's going to feed people. Sure, sure. So there's going to be one. Let's see. We have to select three different things, right? So garlic noodles. We're going to go so... Ooh, tempura is definitely party food. It seems like it would be party food because you just get a, little, a lot of little finger foods, basically. Almond macarons. Yeah, let's do it up because that's also party food. Although it's, you know, super expensive, but let's just do it up. And this party is probably going to be <laughs> not a gold party. I'm going to tell you that right now because it's... We're going to spend most of the time cooking. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You not... Oh, jeez. Why'd you do that? Why would you do that? Go ahead, throw up. Come on. Just throw it all up. Oh. Ooh. You're gonna keep trying to eat, huh? Oh, what are you trying to do now? Teach dancing. I mean, if if it works for you, sure. Oh, she's just... 
She's really bad, isn't she? Is that how you teach someone to dance? Sure. Let's use that. Aha! Viham Treveri. Good. So we need to socialize with our guests, and you know, this is why we started a party, because we need to socialize with this guy so we can become really good friends with him. Let's uh, discuss some gourmet dishes. Maybe that's gonna help us with our- we can teach him dancing. It's gonna help us with our skill. I don't know. Compliment to outfit. Let's uh, thank him for coming as well, because you know, it's nice that he actually came, even though he left us. Straight up left us before. Let's recall mortal life, because it's been a long time since we've actually- Actually, we were never alive, were we? We were always a vampire. We were even a vampire baby. Oh, man. <laughs> that life. That life of Isabel. Oh, excuse- He's rude. He's, like, super rude. Oh, what- what's, what are you- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks? I think? I- I- I guess? Where is he? Get over here, rude sir. Yeah, you know what? We're still talking to you. I don't know why you just decided to walk off here. Oh, man, this guy. Let's tell us a joke about aliens. Clearly, we have to keep him engaged, like, super engaged to actually stay over here. Let's ask about his day. And, yeah, it's about time that we actually left, though, because, um, we have to cook these things. This is not really our concern right now. So, let's see. Get out, get away from the stove. Come on. You guys can do it. We're going to go ahead and make some sweet and ship sh ships. Should we share ships? Yes, let's go ahead and make that. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook because we need to actually try to get this and we have, we've only made one. Oh man! Oh man, are we gonna do this? Because the party is already halfway over and Isabel seems to be stuck in conversation over here. Hey, are you gonna leave? No, apparently not. Apparently she's not actually gonna cook. Oh boy, well I started this party for this reason and apparently we're not gonna get it. This this actually sucks. This does suck. Yeah, go cook. Seriously. Ugh. So frustrating. Yeah, eat, cook, and don't try to eat it. We're gonna have to watch her super closely just to make sure she doesn't eat it. Also, we're gonna make the almond macarons right here. There you go. So let's go ahead and make that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who was it? Someone else was- oh, it's you. Yes, it's you who's actually becoming a vampire soon. Excuse me, who is this? He's like coming in super schmancy. Well, who are you? Per oh, yeah. <laughs> that's because you're the entertainer, naturally, naturally. All right, you know what? That's fine. Just uh, dress, dress the way you want. Oh, Mariko's just like, oh, at least I get some food, right? At least I get some food after coming home from work. Although Jackson here is our boyfriend, so you know things are a little bit weird here. All right, so let's make sure that Isabel doesn't grab any of these. Do not. No. No, 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 no. You put that down. You're gonna put that down immediately. Man, what is going on today? The game is being a little bit laggy. Drop it. There we go. And now you can't cook. Jackson, move. Jackson, move. All right, so it seems like the ceviche and chips was actually super fast to make. So if we can, let's try to make it again. Oh, man, this game. What? Why is it so laggy? It's usually not this laggy, so I am super confused. All right, Jackson, move your butt. Move your butt. Or we don't even need a stove, do we? Aha, uh -huh, that makes it a little bit easier. So just as long as we can finish this by the time the party ends, which we have 25 minutes. Well, it seems like it's not going to happen because she's frozen. <laughs> Oh, Isabel. Isabel, 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 you're a special girl, aren't you? Super special girl. Well, party failure. <laughs> Definitely a party failure because, you know, we have no medals whatsoever. We could. If we have one more drink, maybe we can get a bronze medal somehow. I don't think so, though. Oh, uh, we try. <laughs> Clearly, we didn't try hard enough. Seven minutes. Can you finish that in seven minutes? I don't think so because you're taking so long with that. Well... <laughs> Oh, hey, she did it. She actually did it, even though she didn't actually finish the dish. But the party did finish. She started cooking it, so I guess this maybe will count. I don't think it was supposed to count. But we'll definitely try that party thing in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of The Sims 4 Renaissance Sim Challenge. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, share your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, always, thank you so much for watching, and have... An awesome night.